are just outside the Cathedral Basilica here on Lindell. This is where the survivors network of those abused by priests or SNAP. We'll talk about this new lawsuit later today. The suit is detailed in these 74 pages and it makes some disturbing allegations. Among those named in this lawsuit is the current Archbishop of the St. Louis Archdiocese, Mitchell Rosansky. The Archdiocese is also named as well as a John Doe. The suit was filed by 25 people, but only the plaintiff's initials are listed in the suit. An attorney for the plaintiffs telling our post-dispatch partners that is for their safety. The suit accuses the defendants of knowingly enabling, covering up and concealing that for multiple decades, employees of the church sexually abused children. The suit calls the alleged actions of the church a shameless cover up and that numerous children, including the plaintiffs, were sexually abused. It goes on to say that the defendants knew or should have known that the abusers were unsuitable for the positions they held. Attorneys for the alleged victims with at least 30 clergy members in the suit. Our post-dispatch partners report that similar lawsuits are in the process of being filed by some 35 additional plaintiffs who say they were abused in St. Louis, Jefferson, St. Charles, and Franklin counties. The suit describes alleged abuse that happened as far back as 1945, but it also details more recent alleged abuse as well. The suit claims the youngest abuse victim was just six years old. Other ages ranged into the mid-teens. Court documents say those accused of abuse, of other sexual abuse, were reassigned to other organizations or parishes, received treatment for a short period of time, or did not have any consequences the Archdiocese is telling our post-dispatch partners that it had not yet been served with the suits and needed to review it. SNAP is, hold, SNAP is set to hold that news conference at 1.15 this afternoon again outside the Cathedral Basilica here. For now, live in the Central West End, Chris Renier, Fox News.